Yo, what's going on, guys? Good afternoon. It's Monday. What is it? Uh, Monday the 18th. I'm heading over, heading over to my truck. So I've got a fuse that I have to. I've got a fuse that I blew out in my um, my cigarette lighter fuse right here. So I got to replace that right now. So uh, I'm gonna do that right now, and you guys can hang out with me for a few minutes. All right, we'll do that right after this. I'm actually getting ready to uh, go on a uh, multi-stop load over to uh, the East Coast. All right. I'm going to leave my door open. It's kind of warm today. All right. Yeah, what happened, guys? I was... Um, some of my, my dash cam right up there. Right there was actually the power was going on and off on and off on and off so i'm thinking i thought the problem was my i thought the problem was the connector this little little piece like this that goes in so uh what i did what i did you know we still make rookie moves out here what i did was put some aluminum foil i wrapped up a ball of aluminum foil and stuck it down in there and stuck this in there and it went <laughs> and now um this one right here show you guys yeah i did that with this guy so that's the one that's blown out this one right here has been working fine and what i did i went to one of the truck stops and bought one of these man this thing works great a wilson yeah if you ever want to uh, give yourself more cigarette lighter um, <clears throat> plugs and USB. This is a great product. You know, of course, my channel is a little tiny little thing, so I'm not affiliated or anything like that. I'm not affiliated with uh, with any products or anything like that. But this thing right here has helped me tremendously. So, but what I need to do, let me show you. I need to get into that glove box right there. I need to get into this glove box. Take these out. One, two, three, four. To get to the fuse box inside. So we're going to do that right now. Okay. With this, you need a T25 uh, head. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, take these off. We're just hanging out, man. We're just hanging out. Yeah, I gotta go get some. After this, I gotta go get some groceries because I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. And on this load, it's uh, nine stops. The other thing about these loads, I think I forgot to mention that in previous videos, is that it's. Not only is it multi-stop, but it's also driver assist. So I actually get out and I help unload. Most places. A couple of places, they're big distribution centers and they don't allow you onto the dock. And that's fine. That works. But it's kind of cool because I do get a chance to get outside the truck. And... Uh, some exercise in. All right, and that's it. So I'm going to pull this out. And then it tells you right here. This is the fuse relay identification. What actually happened when that when that thing shorted out? Now my uh, when I open the door, my interior lights don't come on either. So I think it's all related. So uh, we'll take a look here. All right, I'm looking at this, and I think what I'm looking for 
is right here. The dash power receptor. There's two of them up here. And also I'll need to find the um, dome lamp cap. So I'll look at that. That's F35 and the other two is F5, I mean F6 and F7. Okay, okay, inside there's a cover in here. I've got to remove this cover. Looks like it's Velcroed on. Man, that's gonna be fun getting back in. All right, so we'll set that up here. And it's dusty in here. Good thing it has that cover, or it would be even more dusty. Okay, we look inside here. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to be one of these is probably out. So let me grab, let me pull one, pull them both out and check it out. Now, I don't have any fuse pullers, but I'm going to use trusty needle nose. You can't tell, but it's blown. All right, so it's F6, so I need to replace that. That's got a, um, that is a, can you see that, the tip of that? That's a 15. So uh, let me grab my fuses and we'll replace it. Yeah, every uh, every owner operator, you gotta have your fuses on board. You gotta have them. You can pick these up anywhere. These little things will save your life. I mean, this is minor. This is no big deal. But there are other fuses in the engine compartment that if a fuse goes out, man, this can really save your life. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop in that. I've got a, a 15 in here. right there a brand new 15 all right we're just gonna pop that in one two pop it in right there excellent all right that is good now I need to find out what's going on with the dome light so I need to do a little more research jump in here see what happens I'll be back all right I replaced that fuse and unfortunately i could not find the fuse see because my my uh power's on and but my interior lights right up here in the cab they're not coming on i checked the fuses that appeared to be for that and they were fine uh yeah leave in the comments if you guys know some other place that could be the problem let me know and I'll check it out. But uh, yeah, let's test it right now and see if in fact that fuse is gonna fire up that cigarette lighter for me to be able to use it for my dash cam. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just plug this in. These should light up. If they light up, we're good to go. There we go, baby. We're good to go. And so I've got it back. Oh. I love it when that happens. Okay, cool. I am good to go because I, you know, I use that when I'm when I'm driving and making videos and stuff. So that's cool. But you know, hey, this is just another thing, guys. That um, you know, we can do a lot of this stuff ourselves. And I know sometimes it can seem a, a bit intimidating about uh, looking up fuses and all this kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, you know what? Definitely do your research. Check out channels like mine. There are many others, DIY Semi, so many others that have uh, videos like this that can help you out and it can save you money because I don't know if I took this into the shop, you know, you know, it's, you're not going to come out of there without, you know, paying a couple hundred bucks. So just by doing this myself, I probably saved myself a couple hundred bucks and you know, and that, and that you know, every, every bit matters out here as owner operators. So, um, that's it. I'm going to go put this stuff all back together again and uh, go do some grocery shopping and uh, to get ready for this multi-stop load that I'll be running this coming week. You guys take care. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe, hit the like button. Scorpion Trucker, out. 